When uh, we ha so we're built around a fellowship. We have you guys who have shown up to hear the talks. We have people who come up here and give the talks. And of those people who come up here to give the talks, we have a core fellowship of people who agree uh, to do that on a regular basis and face the blinding speaker lights, but also to act as our advisory board and to mentor new speakers as they come in. And from that fellowship, we invite people to guest curate. And curating is basically acting as the creative director and editor for the evening, as well as the so Michael joined us tonight to uh, guide the concept of what we wanted to think about in terms of stories for a, a theme like imposter and also choosing the speakers that we have tonight. We have three new speakers tonight, which is a really exciting uh, situation. Um, for us, it's, it's more unusual these days because we have so many old hands. It's really nice to have so many new faces tonight, and I'm excited to see all of your talks. Uh, Michael has joined us to talk about many things in the past. He's talked about John Dee and his amazing um, sort of occult wisdom and, and spy shenanigans in Queen Elizabeth's court. He's spoken about the Enigma machine, which is something that we're going to sort of touch uh, in an ancillary way tonight. Um, and this time, he is here to kick things off with a few words before we invite this evening's speakers. So please welcome, join me in raising a glass, to Michael. And he's going to take you on the stories that we have for this evening for Imposter. Michael? Good evening, and welcome to Odd Salon. Uh, my name is Michael Broadhead. Hey, hey, wait a minute. And I'll be your Imposter for the evening. Thank you. It was worth a try. <laughs> Greetings programs. My name is Michael Broadhead. Welcome to Odd Salon Imposter. How many people are here for the first time tonight? Is this your first Odd Salon? I see a few hands going up. Awesome. Welcome, we're glad you're here. So what you are in for this evening are expert talks on odd topics and odd talks on everything else. Tonight, six people are going to come up, and they're going to share short stories that are drawn from the odd corners of history, art, science, and adventure. Science. Adventure. Woo. Um, our, our speakers, are, we strive to have a mix of experts and enthusiastic amateurs. But one thing we do not strive for is a polite and quiet audience. Um, our speakers like it when you make noise. This is a participatory, participatory endeavor. Think of it as, as sort of an amalgam of the Commonwealth Club and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. Um, and in that participatory vein, we like to think of this as your stage. If what you see up here is, it looks fun, looks interesting, then we would love to have you join. So go to oddsalon.com slash speak and enter your information and pitch a topic that you're interested in. We are always looking for new speakers. We would love to have you. Odd Salon, you may know or you may not know, is on the internet. S sad but true. Um, so at Odd Salon on Twitter, on, on Instagram, uh, there is also the Something Weird group on Facebook. We'd lo love to have you join, follow on Instagram, uh, tweet us, tag us, gram us, all of the above, and, uh, and do that thing. If, if you like old-fashioned emailing lists, there is an email list over at the merch table. So we encourage you to check that out. And now, this important message. What is your name, please? My name is Robert Shevlin. What is your name, please? My name is Robert Shevlin. What is your name, please? My name is Robert Shevlin. Two of these people are imposters. Only one of them is the real Robert Shevlin and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. And here is our host, Bud Collier. Ah, good old Bud. So the, the game show, To Tell the Truth, the, the format is panelists have a few minutes to ask questions of three people, one, one of whom is an actual authentic individual and two are imposters posing as that individual. And it's presented as a game, but it's a problem that we all face and we have faced throughout human history. And there's a lot of ways we've tried to solve that problem. We can throw methodology at it and, and sometimes that helps. And we can throw technology at it like this Voigt-Kampf machine. And 
sometimes that helps, but, but fundamentally, it's not a problem of technology or, or methodology, but it's a problem of epistemology. That is the, the theory of knowledge. How do we know what we know? When you say, I know that that is Michael Broadhead, what does that mean? What do we base that on? And that leads us to our invocation for this evening, which is from the, the Dutch and Portuguese philosopher Spinoza. And it's, it's straightforward to the point where it's almost tautological, and yet it's something that all of us forget from time to time, and so it, it bears, bears reminding. It's, he who would distinguish the true from the false must have an adequate idea of what is true and what is false. In short, knowledge is power. So, please welcome tonight's speakers. We have Christina Liu, Barbara North, Eva Galperin, Aaron Doran, Matt Mills, and Cameo Wood.